And we're live! Hi, everybody! Are we both ever? Yay! Red Sox! You! Did that just blink? Did we just now come on? Hi, everybody! <laughs> I think we've been live. Oh, okay. It sometimes does that. Did you watch the um, batting? The home run thing? Yes, and we watched the All-Star game last yes, night. Yes, it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. I was really quite, I really wanted, um, oh, I've just gone blank. You know, the guy that went through the whole cancer thing, I really wanted him to win. Oh, yes, what was his name? Um, something with it. Mancini? Um, yeah, that's something, it. Yeah, but Sloan won. Right? Hi, Lo. Hey, Lo. Hi, Lo. Do you probably have the strawberry social today, which, by the way, um, is at 2 o'clock, Seeing Music yes. is running a strawberry social. Um, I hope you got your tickets because a lot have been sold, and I don't know if they have extra to sell at the door. I don't know. I got my tickets. <laughs> Ooh, tickets, tickets. So, in fact, I bought a couple for Larry and Rita, too, so they're going to be coming in to pick them up. Yay! I love that strawberry social. It I like the fashion show, mm -hmm. and it's just so fun. I still remember, remind me of the... My dollar, my five dollar dollar store hat. <laughs> right. So what was it? Two, three years ago? Four, I think. It was right I'm... when I started. Yeah, it was. So Lori bought this hat from the Discovery Shop Fashion Show. Well, there was a couple of really nice hats, and, and there was some earrings. Mm -hmm. So I went back, and I was like, everything that I wanted was already gone. So I spotted the hat, and it was a kind of a what do they call Panama? Yeah, Panama style hat, and um, it was five bucks, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll get five dollars, and walked back. I was so proud with, <laughs> was so proud with my hat on, walking back. And who was it? It was me, because my kids had one. That's right. <laughs> and she goes, oh, I got my kids that first. Uh, got my kids one just like that at the dollar store. And I was like, <laughs> I just bought this for five dollars. So I marched back in there, and they were laughing at me. So anyway. The gals at the Discovery Shop, they're great. It goes to a good I cause, skip, though. And that is the only reason I still had the hat. <laughs> it didn't even have the band on it. But that, we had ribbon. But we did ribbon on it. you made it fancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was my big purchase. <laughs> it was funny. I was so proud of it. And then I went into the dollar store and saw them all over. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Anyway, buyer beware. But like I said, it was a good price. I mean, a good, good cause. So... Yeah. Speaking of baseball, all American one. Oh. She's gonna kill me. I'm doing this in the first place. Oh, I know it's funny. Megan is our volunteer of the month. She's this beautiful lady. She does all of our beautiful decorating yeah. at the center right now. It's July, so it is all red, white, and blue. And she has come in, I think, in red, white, and blue just about every day. She's oh, I know. Here. She's themed. Everything is themed. It's it's great. She used to be a school teacher. She still acts like a school teacher because don't sit on the counter. Yeah. You get in trouble. You do. <laughs> but she wouldn't let us interview her. No. So sure. should we do a fake one? Yeah, sure. Go okay. Ahead. I'll be Megan. Here. <laughs> you interview me. Megan, where are you from? Yakima. <laughs> what do you like to do? Decorate. Do you have any hobbies? Taking care of Phil. <laughs> And tell us about Phil. He's a Red Sox fan. Red Sox. <laughs> Phil gave Lori her Red Sox shirt. And he likes to play pool. One. And he likes to play pool and drink coffee. <laughs> All right. And when did you start volunteering at the Harmon Center? Eons ago. Good answer. <laughs> Come down to the coffee bar and check out her decorated and meet Megan one day at the Harmon Center. We love her. And then on to, since we're on baseball and we were talking about that, we went to the baseball game this weekend. That was our fun. Oh, did you to the, uh, what are they called, Pippins? No, we went oh. to the Mariners. Oh, that's right. Oh, wow. So we went to the Mariners. We had a good time, even though they lost. It's okay. Um, but the big thing at T-Mobile Park now is fried cricket. And they sell out, apparently, at the beginning. When, if you don't get them. Real crickets? Like, real crickets. So what do they do? Go to the pet store and get, oh! <laughs> <laughs> so Matt wanted to try these because he kept seeing this every time we watched the Mariners game of fried crickets. So he bought some. 
There they are. Oh my gosh, I have to look at that close. And then this is oh. Steve trying a fried cricket. I can't believe you didn't bring any. I didn't. Um, they're actually still in our fridge right now. <laughs> so they didn't get eaten? Not completely. Mm, what still... a surprise. Ew! There's a whole thing of them. That's a lot of crickets. Those are to some eat. pretty big. Are they crickets or grasshoppers? Oh, maybe they're grasshoppers. Maybe they're grasshoppers. I was going to say, those are some fried Hi. grasshoppers. Uh, and so they're chili lime flavored. They were crunchy and tangy. Mm. Steve and Matt really liked them. Do they? I don't know. Vincent and I kind of felt the same way that, like, you know, when you accidentally get a bug in your mouth, you're yeah. like, oh, I ate a bug. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because I knew I was eating a bug. It tasted like a bug. And then it, it was had a bug. Aftertaste of, of a, a bug. bug. <laughs> because it was a bug. So, yeah. So, I, I ate a bug this weekend. I do have a story about eating bugs. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm waiting for your finish. And then that's just Vince and Steve. So, after they ate the grasshoppers, oh, they went they and had stuff. cotton candy and ice cream. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about the tuna casserole? Yes. Okay. That's a good story. Did I tell that on the show? You have not. That's okay. a good story. So, Al and I lived in, see, I do have a story for everything. <laughs> I, Al and I lived on the Oregon coast, and we we had not really experienced the barrage of sugar ants. Oh, they're come, bad this year too. Oh, and they and they come in season. Mm -hmm. So we had a great house, and it was an A-frame house, and we had these sugar ants, and we couldn't find out where they're coming from. And I mean, literally, I swear the dog bowl was you know going across <laughs> the the floor one day because they were taken off. We had to put the dog bowls in a pan of water mm -hmm. to keep them out of the dog food. Right. So, you know, we'd gotten the home defense and we sprayed around and we think we'd gotten them all, all down. So when I make tuna casserole, I use like two pounds of cheese. It's the one thing Nikki always wants when I, when she comes home, two pounds of cheese and I rinse the tuna so it doesn't have a tuna taste. I know I should use chicken, but anyway, mix it with the cream of mushroom. And then I put this pound of cheese. And so I mix this all up and I, pull down the baking dish, pour it in, and as I'm pouring it in, I realize that there are ants <laughs> trying to get out. I mean, like, I was like, oh, no, and I can't pour it away, because, I mean, we were poor back then, and tuna casserole was supposed to last us for a week, and so I just spread it out over them and stuck it in the <laughs> oven. They look like pepper. So <laughs> I baked it, and I served, and I thought, I'm thinking, should I tell Al? I was like, no, nah, he eats anything anyway. So I, I serve it up for dinner, and he, and I swear, we were just talking about it the other day. He goes, this is the best tuna casserole you've ever made. <laughs> and I'm thinking, it's the ants. So he said, did you use big pepper? And I said, no, those are sugar ants. <laughs> and he says, what? And I said, the pan was full of sugar ants. And he sits there a minute, and he Look, and he takes another bite, and he goes, well, it's really good. <laughs> so we had sugar ants for sugar our Sugar ants castle. maybe be tasty. Maybe it might be. If they fried those up, they might be better than the grasshoppers. Yes, and, and <laughs> the, the backside of that story is the next week I'm taking two older friends that I took to Roseburg every week for his military, the VA. And so I'm asking, it's a couple, and Joe's in the car, and I'm driving, and Jean, her husband's in the back. And I, and I told her the story on the way to Roseburg. So on the way, you made a good laugh. So on the way back from Roseburg, I had forgotten. And I said, well, why don't I guys take you guys over to our house and, and we'll have dinner. And there's like dead silence. <laughs> there's crickets. I mean, nothing. And, and I kind of look over at her and she goes, no, thank you. And I said, you don't want to come over to our house and eat? And Jean's still not saying a word. And she goes, no, thank you. And I thought, well, that's kind of rude <laughs> because they were always coming over. And so I kept driving and I said, you just don't want me to serve you ants. And she started laughing so hard. And she goes, I thought that's what you were going to do. <laughs> and I said, oh, man. So that was my sugar ants. But apparently they taste pretty good. Apparently. I don't know about grasshoppers, but it tastes that's like a little bigger. It's a tangy bug taste. Bug. Yeah. I don't know, Matt, like he said, if you put them on a salad, they'd probably be good. Crickets are smaller, but grasshoppers just seem big, and those look really they were big. big. Anyway. 
And Lois Ooh. said, I like your shirt. It was two years ago that I went to Fenway watching the Red Sox. Yay. That's right. She did. I have a picture of me kissing Fenway Park. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, you know, me in the background. And I love that. They were good. So we have Lois watching us, but we have quite a, a lot of other viewers. Nice. Um, also, um, on baseball, mm -hmm. we've got the um, spring training yes. trip, March of next year. Going to have a Mariners game, another couple games, and then tour, do some of the tours of Arizona. So please sign up because that one is, is uh, in March, so the sign-up cutoff is going to be this year. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, please give me a call and uh, get on that because we haven't got to do that in a long time. That's I just realized thing. I don't have lipstick on. My spade is all on my coffee mug. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, just, I just forgot. Anyway, oh, oh and no. Lois, you're not coming today. Well, oh, we'll see another day. I haven't seen Lo in a while. I saw Roberta yesterday morning, oh. and it was so refreshing. So, Roberta, if you're watching, thank you for coming in. Yeah. Thank you for coming <laughs> in. Hmm. Um. Okay, so you know how I said last week I'm gonna look up UFO news. Mm -hmm. So they just put out this report at the end of June that. The military is not saying that oh, it is U UAPs now. So where it's UFOs. A U P. Is that a U aerial? Una no UAP. UAP. Yeah, UAP. Unidentified aerial phenomenon. So, I watch Skinwalker Ranch. There, there have been multiple sightings in the Massachusetts, New England area recently. Oh well. Um, and then this is not just like a. U.S. phenomenon because you know they always have the oh, yeah, the big no, festival not. in uh, was it New Mexico yeah. and they it's at Roswell mm -hmm. and so they celebrate UFO Day and it's July second so it was this month um, but now they're saying the Pentagon is saying that they can't confirm nor deny Denied. that yeah. these are aliens so they might just exist and. Now other countries are jumping on board. Canada and um, one other has a higher percentage of people England. actually believing it. England that, has got that's that's many, 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 more than the United States sightings. Mm -hmm. And then I said last week that Washington has the highest in the United States mm -hmm. sightings. But yeah, England has had sightings for decades, decades. So um, Stonehenge, you know, the mounds. I, there's some weird stuff. I'm I'm anxious to get over there. And... So it's really funny. All these articles I pulled off, and I read every one of them detailed, trying to see if I could get a little piece of information. Every one of them said we can can not confirm nor, nor deny. deny. So there might be aliens. There might not be. Has anybody out there seen UFOs? I've seen little weird things in the sky. Now I don't know oh, if they're no, drones I, I or saw real. like. Well, that's like real. you had it um, out at what was that? campsite that you saw it out at. It's the one where you saw Bigfoot, didn't you see? That that was that was um Sawmill Flat. That's it. But no, the UFO was uh the first one I saw was right on Yakima Avenue. Mm -hmm. I think I was in the fifth grade, out spending the night. And there was a guy across the street. We lived right on Yakima Avenue in the between thirtieth and thirty second. And there was a guy across the street that had a telescope mm -hmm. and he always tell his kids, you know, that he could always spot different things. But there was supposed to be a satellite that night. Mm -hmm. So the green girls, I think there was three of them and myself, we were sleeping outside. And so we're watching. And he had told us where the satellite was. So we're watching this tiny little satellite, which back then was really pretty cool mm -hmm. that you could see one. And as we're watching this tiny little satellite just slowly go by, this huge white disc went right down Yakima Avenue, right over the top of us. And it was so quiet. Everything was quiet, dead quiet. And we're, we're all laying there just until it went out of sight. And then we kind of freaked out. So we jump up and we go running across the street to the guy. Mm -hmm. And he said he can't hear to even talk mm -hmm. because he's watching it with his telescope. And this thing takes the whole vision out of his telescope. And he said, I don't know, girls, I don't know what we saw. But that was not of this world. And we're like, hey, it's not a UFO. We were so excited. And a little freaked out. Yeah. And then the other time we saw it is when we had time missing. 
um, a friend of I and I were going to Walla Walla and it was, uh, we left after school and we were on the road. If you go to Walla Walla, you know, it kind of goes like this. Mm -hmm. And she had a, a Pontiac Lamaze convertible and I'm sitting facing the back with my seat over the back of the seat and she's driving and I'm watching the stars and stuff. And I noticed this thing come down. And at first I thought it was a helicopter. Mm -hmm. And I, and I told Kay, I said, hey, there's like a helicopter or something with a light on it. Or there's this light. It looks like it's following us. And so I'm just watching it. And, and uh, all of a sudden, it started doing these weird maneuvers. And I was like, man, I've never seen a helicopter move like that. And then kaboom, it was gone. And I flipped my legs over. And I'm looking out the front. And I said, oh, my gosh. I just think we saw I saw a UFO. And so we were kind of freaking out because it's 1 o'clock in the morning. Right. And we're driving. And so the next thing I know, we're in Walla Walla and it's 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Now, one o'clock in the morning, past Tri-Cities on that road to Walla Walla does not take four hours or four or five hours. Mm -hmm. We have no idea where that time went. <laughs> we have no idea. We pulled into Walla Walla and it was 6 a.m. The last thing we know, we were on the road and it was one. I'm just saying, if you wanted to know why I'm weird, that is why. <laughs> So, never had any weird abduction dreams or anything, but no. it was just a very strange missing time. I just said it out in public. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Don't know what it was. Oh, shoot. We forgot our joke for today, guys. We It's National Nude Day. So, we were going to oh. be funny, and we were going to have censored signs. Oh, you guys can see it, but I forgot it. But at least you wore baseball shirts. So if we see people walking around nude, they're legit for today. Okay. <laughs> I still don't think Keep it's your eyes open. Still don't think it's good for public. I and don't it's think National so. Mac and Cheese Day, so that's good. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, to, tomorrow is a day for Michelle. It's called National Give Something Away Day. <laughs> She's always, well, she gives it away and I take it. Or I do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anything she's given is actually made, made it to, the to the table. table. Yeah. And or it may I make it there, but I grab it as I come by. Or I take it and then I go, hey, do you want this? I don't think I'm going to use this. Yeah. <laughs> she's got good stuff. She does. Oh, are we supposed to do that? Uh-huh. Where she get that stuff from? Friday is National Cherry Day. Saturday is National Lottery Day. Oh, so everybody will be buying a ticket. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. Sunday is World Listening Today is Day. So put your good listening ears on. Oh. Oh, and next Wednesday is National Hot Dog Day. I love hot dogs. I I miss hot dogs. Although I found some plant based hot dogs that are really, really good. Are they? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get some for this weekend. And then it is National Donut Week, so check out your local Krispy Kreme. I'm not a donut fan. You know, we only, it's so funny, we only get them once a year. Because instead of a birthday cake, Matt wants donuts for his birthday. So I never have to make a birthday cake, which is fantastic. Because if you guys know my stories with my children, they don't just ask for like a chocolate or a vanilla cake. They want a shark with Spider-Man riding it or a Lego head. Or Which you have done very Elmo well on. Or a dinosaur or Thomas the train with somebody riding it. It's great. Yeah, it'll work. <laughs> so for me not to have to do the cake, I'm like, yeah. yes. And so we go to Krispy Kreme every year for Matt's birthday. Matt's birthday. And the boys look forward to it. That's Donut Day. We're going to get a big thing of all different flavored donuts in that oh, Donut wow. Day. Nikki was a pie girl. And so was my stepdad, Don. He was pie. And they had the birthday on the same day. Mm -hmm. So we would have pie for their birthday. Mine is just Baskin Robbins. I just get a scoop of ice cream. They have non-dairy ice cream. Oh, do they? It's good. Hmm. I'm still doing the plant-based thing, by the way. So in case you're wondering. Haven't lost any weight, but feel really good. So I have a couple other topics, but I didn't know if you wanted to go ahead and quiz your stuff or... Oh, I, you know, I just, um, as most of you know, my brother Dave passed away um, two years ago, June 30th. And I just was feeling really nostalgic. You know, mom and I 
really were missing him, my my sister-in-law, Cheryl. And so I had mentioned the fact that he did all the special effects, did a lot of special effects and stuff for uh, Disney, um, Universal Studios. Um, he and my brother, Joe, um, he did all of the visuals and artwork for their books. And these are, this is the uh, series that Joe wrote and David did all the artwork for. And it's the Novum series and the Cyberdrome was their first one. And um, it, it's really hard, especially with Joe. Joe talked to him every day, you know. Mm -hmm. But he, this was one of the first things he did, and I've mentioned it before. Um, he created the Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. Those are made out of peaches, uh, cardboard, um, things that he found around the house. In fact, this, this part right here on the uh, the piece mm -hmm. on the Stormtrooper is my mom's um, hose from her hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> and Mercy then had them walk around. That's Kyle Watson in the tall one and, and Dave. And that's Nikki when she was little. Walked down Mercy Theater and, during the Star Wars and walked down the aisles and oh, stuff. And it awesome. was cool, yeah. And that was that was the stormtrooper that mm -hmm. he did out of cardboard and stuff. This was Baba Vett, which he did, which Mandalorian, that's the original Mandalorian, and other things that he had created. Um, but what was really amazing to me was his computer work. These are worlds he created for um, some of the books. Mm -hmm. and um, They're really cool. Ones. Yeah, they're just, he was such a great artist. I mean, the world really lost somebody amazing. We always joke and say, well, you know what? The good Lord knows time is coming to an end, and he needed somebody up there to do the special effects. <laughs> That's Mr. Potato Head that he, he and another guy uh, worked on and created, and it's over in, well, the first one, that one there is over in China. He did the Toe Mater. That's one of his. And uh, this is from the... This is from the, uh, that's the crack that is on the Novum series. Cool. Yeah. That's so, really awesome. But it was really cool because, I, oh, I didn't have it. But he said, uh, I had a picture of, uh, he said his greatest creation was, and it was a picture of him getting baptized. He said that it was his greatest accomplishment. So I know where he's at. Anyway, David, I love you and we miss you. And that's a homage to my baby brother. Yeah. Oh, thank you for letting me share. Oh, no problem. So I was thinking about you and Michelle <gasps> yesterday because you get sucked. I don't know if you guys do this, but I do this all the time. You get sucked in to these clickbait articles on Facebook. It happens to me all the time. And then you just start going down a whole rabbit hole. Yeah, and then you find your phone is dead. Yeah, uh -huh. did it. Or you get stuck. I got stuck on a new game. I don't know if anybody's played it, but Wudoku. It's like Sudoku Tetris. It's amazing. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> that is all I need. It's addictive. <laughs> I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> going to have to. So, anyway, I found this article, and it was called 37 Things That or Love at First Sight on Amazon. One, they had Michelle's number 100% oh, because really? there were so many things. I'm like, that's Michelle. That's Michelle. That's Michelle. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She likes lots of weird things. So, first, the first few things that I saw that caught my eye. One, how cute is this? That's up. It, and it's a paint by numbers. It's 16 oh, by 24. Like, wow. I'll ever have time to do this. But it was only like six ninety nine and super cute. I love up. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the movie, oh, adult, so child, good. whatever, it is. There's a lot of adult mm -hmm. innuendos in that there movie. Are. It's so cute. And then this. That's funny. It's That's a you. sword cheese grater. You know how funny my boys would think that would be to okay. have a sword cheese grater? <laughs> and then I think all three of us need these. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but these are called poppets. My girls, my, my granddaughters have those. So they're these they are little so rubber cool. things and you pop them all one way, then you flip it over and you can pop them all the other yeah. way. And it, it's like hours of entertainment, it's like stress like, reliever. It's like having the bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. 
when when we were at their house, the girl showed me, and I was like, where can I get one? I Walgreens has them. They are just it's like your game. Mm -hmm. They're absorbing. So if you're I looking like for rainbow, something fun yeah. to do, Walgreens or Amazon have it. Yeah. So here is Michelle's number. <laughs> they were calling. One. Oh, yeah. Michelle. Plants. Her plant stands. That's, yeah. That's she a Michelle. That. Then Avengers Magnet. That's Michelle. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Then. Skull Ice, Ice Cubes. Cubes. That's Michelle. <laughs> yeah, they did have her number. And Star Wars Pyrex dishes. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, they had Michelle's number. And then she probably, well, we might all three need one of the, I might use it if she had it. Um, a punching bag for your desk. Oh, yes. And then because it's so cold in here, sometimes all three of us might need this as a foot warmer. Electric foot warmer. I want one that vibrates my feet. Now, this is totally Lori because she's the only one that can rock this shirt. Oh, yeah. It's a tiger. I used to be able to rock the shirt. Down. Someday. <laughs> I love that shirt. And it, it looks just like you. Oh, yeah. I like it. <laughs> I had to laugh at this, but I thought this was too funny. I mean, who doesn't need <gasps> a baguette pillow? Oh, I want one of those. <laughs> and then I want to make a little butter pat. Can't you see that? Just a little pat of butter that you mm -hmm. could like hook to it. And <gasps> I want that. <laughs> that just looks really yummy. And then oh, I found funny. this, which again, I thought, much out. Money tree, yeah. This is a money tree. I did not realize they actually had money trees. So Michelle tells me this funny story. Is that I didn't know they actually had money trees. And she goes, oh, yeah, I have one. But all the leaves keep falling off of it. <laughs> she was going to bring it in. Bad Michelle. Oh. Bad Michelle. Michelle ended up having to take her um, oldest to the doctor today. So that is why she is not here. He had foot turned. surgery. He yeah. did have foot surgery. So they went to Again. get that checked out. I haven't had enough yeah. days yet. Um. But, yeah, she was going to bring this in because her leaves keep falling off her tree. And I said, well, that can't be great Good. prosperity. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it looks like that. So you're obviously not getting wealthy by your money tree. No. I don't even have a money tree. Mine, okay. the money tree I have is a jade tree, mm -hmm. which they say is uh, for feng shui. You put it in a certain part of your house, and it's mm -hmm. supposed to be a money tree. And... I think I have mine in the wrong place because mm -hmm. mine is the same way. It's got like six leaves yeah. and it won't get any more. Mm -hmm. They just fall off and turn yellow. So I'm going to have to feng shui that somewhere else and see if it works better. Oh, And then my last article, because I swear this was happening and I'm not going crazy. And then NPR put out an article about it. Shrinkflation. Has anybody heard about this? No. Shrinkflation is... The companies are making smaller quantities of things, but charging the same price. Okay, that's, yes. Yep. You get a box of cereal or chips, and it's got this it's much, much stuff in it. in it. I've noticed that. Shrinkflation, it's real. It's not right. So not only has groceries and gas and everything else gone up right now, they're shrinking everything inside. Well, and but the thing that kind of bothers me is that it has a weight on it. Like it will say 28 ounces. Mm -hmm. But if there's less, how can it be 28 ounces? Are the cardboard boxes getting heavier? Possibly. They said, though, on the study that they did, they did it on cereal, and it would go down like, the box would be the same oh, size. Oh, but they are changing the but ounces, the ounces and you don't were catch it. smaller because you can't tell because the box looks the Oh, exact the smoking same. gun. That's good. That's that's quite a bit. An mm -hmm. ounce is, especially when you're talking about cereal or chips, is a, mm -hmm. a lot. Well, I swear the chips are getting smaller and smaller. That's how many you get in a bag. Well, and people don't care. You get a bag of chips and they're broken. Mm -hmm. They're chips. They're chips of chips. So if any of you guys have seen this in the stores, I know I have, and you're not crazy. It's really happening. Translation is real. Yes, 
shrinkflation. Wow. wow. Crazy. Oh, is there any other trip news coming up? I know you have the mystery trip coming up. Well, we had, uh, let's see, um, since I since we were on last week, did I have a trip? No. Yes. Oh, yes, yes you we did. The did. Wenatchee one. The Wenatchee one. I was thinking you went all of them on a row. Well, but and I was of. going to post some pictures, but it's really a video thing. So I need you to work with me and see if we can do Put a montage okay. of them. Because this band's called Fast Break. They're out, no, Fast Lane, I'm sorry. Fast Lane, um, out of Richland, out of the Tri-Cities. And they are an Eagles tribute band. They were good. I mean, uh, most of us thought the drummer mm -hmm. really was Don Henley. Oh, that's awesome. And the guy that did Joe Walsh with the mouth harp and everything was phenomenal. There was one one that they kind of got off, and but then they you know got back together and got going. And everybody's sitting around. And I have video of everybody sitting around, you know, listening to the music. Yeah, it's good. And then it's a little more. And by the end of the thing, everybody is up dancing. Everybody is dancing and just having a great time. It was a good concert. And this new venue that um, Robert and Rio have, it's RLS Productions, um, mm -hmm. wonderful couple. And they put on such a great show. Um, they've got the Wenatchee College campus now. So it's so much bigger than oh, wow. um, where they were Omi before. Gardens. Omi Gardens. And less dangerous to get to. Awesome. So I'm really excited when all of the sanctions are list, list, lifted that we're going to just pack the house. That's great. So I think next year, we might be do, do a couple more this year, but I think next year I'm just going to do the whole series because it was fun. And he gets great bands. They are very, very good. I think oh, they're cool. playing tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or next Thursday. They're going to be up there with Non Jovi. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. So they all have really cute names, and Robert and Rio both just really look. Robert's got a background in, in as a musician. Anyway, it's kind of how we we got hooked up. And um, so uh, anyway, shout out to Robert, Rio. Love you guys. RLS Productions. Great show in Wenatchee. That'll be cool for so, next yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, a lot of fun. Well, speaking of concerts, since I was going to mention this, they started the concert um, in the park. Oh, here in Yakima. Star Anna, which is an alternate country band, will be playing this Friday from 6 to 8 at Franklin Park. And then Viva La Musica has already started. <clears throat> the one this Sunday is from 5 to 7, Los de Ella. And then also, the Summer Cinema is started last week, too. So Sunday at 8.30, they will be playing Coco. And if you guys haven't seen that movie, that it is supposed to be so cute. So cute. My boys love it. We made Day of the Dead bread last year because, because of Coco. Because of Coco. Now, um, the Viva Musica is at Miller Park or well, is it, it different places? It interchanges. So it oh. goes Miller the first three, Martin Luther um, the last three. Oh, okay. And then the uh, rock and country is at Franklin. Franklin. And then the movie series at is at Chesterly. Chesterly. Well, good. So you get to check out our parts. Yeah. That's good, yeah. So it should be it's free, it's fun, something to do for the summertime. Oh, Avengers Endgame. Mm -hmm. We should all be there for the Thor outfit. We ordered Black Widow this weekend. Oh, that's right. Because for us, there's five of us, and for all of us to go to the theater, and I probably wouldn't get to watch most of the movie because Dolly's not going to sit there to watch a right. two-hour movie. It it was just cheaper for us to buy it off of Disney, and it was so good. <laughs> I, we went, speaking of what we did this weekend, Mary, Rick, and Alan, I went to the Orion, because mm -hmm. it was Rick's birthday, so we were going to have dinner and a movie. That's kind of what we do for the four of us, and so we went to the Orion. Black Widow was sold out. Oh, wow. F9 sold out. Mm -hmm. So we decided, well, we'll have dinner mm -hmm. at the rest at the restaurant part and then get the movie. Well, while we're deciding that, Black Widow's second showing sold out. Oh, gosh. So we jumped on the tickets for F9 mm -hmm. and got four together and then had dinner and a movie and then went and saw F9. Mm -hmm. I, well, Rick and Mary and I loved it. Well, you love Fast and the Furious. Love it. Yeah, I've watched the whole series mm -hmm. because there is, it's not just Fast and Furious. There's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
Hobbs and Shaw were introduced in it. Mm-hmm. And that's The Rock and what's his name? I love him anyway. Um, um, Mirren. Um, Helen Mirren was mm-hmm. in this one. They've always got great stars. So it, it was really good. And the whole time Al's like this. <laughs> that's not real. That's fake. I don't see the point. That, I'm going, shut up. <laughs> Because we're enjoying it. It's like fast action stuff, you know. And of course it's not real. You're not going to drive a car and jump and twirl and fall off the car and land on a motorcycle to go. It's entertainment. I mean, you could try it. You could try it, but you know it will not. (laughs) So the whole time he's just like, so we get done and and Mary and Rick and I are like, that was so good. It was really a good movie. And I was like, I didn't like it. And so we get home and I said, so, Avengers, there's really a Thor? <laughs> Iron Man can change as he's flying into an, a metal guy? Maybe. You know? As on another like, planet. On another planet? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Because he was doing that. It's CGI, CGI. And it's like, um. That's all of Avengers. Exactly. <laughs> he All he could say was, that's different. I was like, oh, I think it's different. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, both those. So Black Widow, hopefully this weekend. But I think we're going to do what you did. It really, it was, it was good. And the nice thing is, so if you guys do have Disney Plus. We do. It's not that you get to see it just one time. Because it will not come out on Disney Plus for free until October 17th. Oh, so you can buy it. If you buy it for the twenty nine ninety nine, Which is cheaper because the tickets at the Orion were seventeen fifty, and then food. Yep. Twenty nine ninety nine, and you get to watch it as many times as you want. Oh, okay, that's what we're gonna do. Rick and Mary actually have a big screen set up too. Oh, out in their backyard. Oh, be so fun. we're gonna have to figure that out because I've got it on my phone, and I bet you can hook up to my phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But speaking of Avengers, so I know we had talked about Loki before. Yeah. I okay. I watched the first episode. I wasn't a huge fan of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It was okay. The boys loved it. I liked it. I loved WandaVision. I did. I was not keen on Loki when I first watched it. The wasn't. first episode, I was like, oh, it's just gonna be another one. But the kids like it, so I'll watch it. Yeah. I'm hooked now. Our new you? episode comes out today. I am hooked. I was hoping that it would be like that because I had such high hopes. I liked Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. I thought it was great. It, it was fun. And then I loved WandaVision, and then I watched Loki. I was so excited. I watched it, and I went, oh, that well, that wasn't mm-hmm. good. I mean, it really wasn't good. I fell asleep during the <laughs> middle of it. So I had to watch it again. I was like, okay, no, I, it bored me to tears. So I was hoping that the, it would start getting better. So I'll give it another shot. Yes, you need to check it Loki, out. Loki, I will give you another chance. <laughs> so. All right, and then any other announcements? We're still doing our school supply drive. It is till the end of September. All supplies will go to the Yakima School District, please. New supplies not used. Yes, please. Um, just bring them to the front desk. Matinee dances started last week. I could not believe how many people showed up. Like I wasn't here, was I? They had 32 people at Matinee Dance, which is the biggest group they've had wow. in a long time. So that was really awesome to see that. Uh, Rana did her first uh, essential oils plus. She had a great group. They oh, you guys have got to come to this. She is so good, she is. and the class needs to fill up. I mean, everybody. I went and watched what they were doing, and she. Everybody gets so involved, and she's so knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. And it's almost like going to a play date. Yeah, you know, it's not like you're sitting in the class wondering what. It's hands on, right? And she's so smart. So yeah, come, come, come for Find five it. bucks. Yeah, and you get to take something home. And today was bat. And yesterday was bat ball. Next one, and next month. So it's always the second Tuesday at one o'clock. Um, it'll be bug spray, and she'll be talking about essential oils in the garden. And then September is essential oil for all ages, and they're making a focus roller bottle with tea tree oil. Oh, I've got to be at that one. Tea tree oils, stinky but amazing. Mm-hmm. It is. I use it for all my pets. Well, it's it gets good. Gets rid of fleas. It. Yeah, it's really good for that. Cuts, bruises, scrapes. And the dinner club is going on per restaurants this Thursday. James, James, where? Has a pretty good uh, group going to per restaurant. 
And you know, I, so I had a lady stop by the front desk and she goes, well, do they have cats? <laughs> I'm like, Don't I, you, I think it's P-U-R, like P-U-R, it's P-U-R-R-R, -R -R, R -R, like yeah. purr. And so huh. she asked me this, so I Google it. And I look at the menu. The menu looks fantastic. Where is it located? Off of Yakima Avenue. It's down Where by it's down by the Capitol. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, so I look it up and I tell her the menu, and then she goes, "Do you know what the cool new word is?" And I'm like, "Cool, oh, no, my kids don't have those cool new words." Yet. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the cool new words. They're seven, five, and thirteen months, so yeah. we don't have cool new words. Um, she goes, "Her teenager, if she says something." Her, that means it's yummy, awesome, and cool. Oh, so it's a catchphrase. It's yes. a catch word. Purr. Purr. That's the that's the new now you guys know the new catch word. The new catch word. So if you say it's purr. Yep. Come in and tell us how purr Um, let's see, we have our improv class coming up next week. I am going to that. Oh, I think all three of us need to go oh, to Oh I Class, Michelle, you're going. Him. You're going. And you're going to be here next Wednesday. I'm just telling you, we've been missing you. I know. I'm, I'm mad. Um, mad, I say. Mad. And then Gary is turning 80. If you guys know Gary Melner, he is putting on a free concert for his birthday to celebrate he's 80. And he is getting roasted. <laughs> Poor Gary. Oh. He always roasts everybody else. It's his turn. It's his turn to be roasted. And then trip presentation. Yes, come, come, come. So August sixth, August thirteenth, come check it out. They'll be talking about the spring training on the sixth one, right? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Spring training on August sixth, and uh, and um, what's the other one? Vermont Fall Colors. Mm -hmm. And then uh, last minute for anybody that wants to go to Dollywood with us at Christmas. That be That'll fun. be a good one. And then August 13th, the premiere will be here, Aphrodite. Now, guess who's coming on the 6th for Meridian? Isn't it Ryan? It's Ryan Campbell, our favorite little... He was uh, so nice. Oh, he's he's a kick. And I, we've missed him, so mm -hmm. it'll be nice to have him back. And so he's going to be doing the presentation for uh, Meridian. And you know what I like is Meridian and Premiere, they, they're and friendly excursions. They all have such great respect for each mm -hmm. other and work well together, mm -hmm. and I like the way that they have customers, their guests is what we call them, their right. guests, their travel guests, just for forefront, you know, mm -hmm. what you need, what you want, what we can do, so I've got some really good companies that I love working with. That's awesome. Yeah. And then, as always, Wednesdays at 1 o'clock, it's us. It's us. Cafe. Cafe. Yeah. And we did our baseball theme, and that's why we're wearing our baseball shirts. And Michelle, you are going to wear your baseball shirt next week. It is so funny. I She's can't wear believe it. she didn't have. I'll, you know what? If, I'm going to have to wear my Mariners one next year. That's going to be three weeks of me wearing the Mariners. <laughs> I'll have Red Sox, but it'll be a different one. So I'll wear my Mariners next week. I didn't have my Mariners clean because I wore it Sunday at the oh, game. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I have to work on my laundry. I wear nothing but Red Sox. Oh, Red and Sox. since this beginning of the month was Dad's corny joke, I was going to pull out again. Some of those were pretty funny. Some of them were dorky. Dorky. That's a good word. I've heard <laughs> a long time. Or really dorky, but funny. Why couldn't the couple get married at the library? Uh, I don't know. It was all booked up. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so good. I, I should have got that. <sighs> what is Sherlock Holmes' favorite protein source? Uh, I don't know. Mystery meat. <laughs> oh, emu. <laughs> Mystery meat. What is it called when kittens get stuck in a tree? Um, I don't know. A cat astrophy. <laughs> a cat catastrophe. Oh, that's good. What kind of shape may have been knighted? What kind of what? Shape may shape. have been knighted. Knighted. Um, okay, you got your circle, you got your rectangle, you got your triangle, you got your square. Shape, I don't know. Your circles. Your what? Your circles. Oh, that was bad. 
That was bad, sir. Okay. Uh, where was the dripping coming from in the fridge? Michelle should know this. The dripping come from in the fridge. The leaks! <laughs> oh, leaks! There's a leak in the fridge! <laughs> I still like the one with Matt. What um, did the drummer call his twin daughters? Bada bing, bada boom. Very close. <laughs> oh, what was it? And a one and a two. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be more of an orchestra leader. And a one. Oh, no. Lawrence Welk. Oh, yeah. And a one and a two. What do you call a toothless bear? Um, uh, friend? Okay. <laughs> Anything you want because you can't do anything? A gummy bear. Oh! That's kind of cute. Gummy bear. What does a nosy pepper do? Uh, a nosy pepper? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It gets jalapeno business. <laughs> jalapeno business? Jalapeno business? <laughs> That was pretty funny. <laughs> For those of you who don't understand it, it's all up in your business. Jalapeno business. <laughs> I kind of like that. I know. I'm going to be saying I'm that gonna, all day long now. I'm going to end it on that one. We'll do uh, some more good. next week. Jalapeno business. So, oh man, we had some good viewers today. Oh, uh, I want to thank welcome, Mom everybody. and Dad. Thank you, Lois. Ron, Sue, Pauletta. Laura, Roy, Tanya, Becky, Les, wow. Les, and Phyllis. So, Dang. wow. Thank you, guys. And That's thank live, you. too. Yeah. So, and thank you to all of you that tune in later and are clue on YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, our YouTube people. Have we got to subscribe yet? No, not yet. Cause I okay. haven't edited the video because they put this one straight out. i got to figure oh, out okay. how I can catch this and then pull it back out. Okay. Um, and we'll try that. We'll yeah. get that going. I know it's been requested. When, when are you going to subscribe? So we'll yeah. work on it. Man, I'm really dark. You've gotten a good I'm tan. Red. Well, it's that little pool. Mm -hmm. I keep saying we're, we're sitting out by the pool. It's a 14 foot by. <laughs> That's a know. pool. It's 33 inches high. When you're floating, you can't tell that the bottom is right under your butt. Hey, I have a 10 inch high, five foot wide. Well, and it, it counts. It's it counts. It's a pool. If you can get a tan, it's a pool. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. And if you're coming to the Strawberry Social, we'll see you then because it will. starts in 12 minutes. Yeah. Exciting. All right. You guys have a happy Wednesday and a good rest of the week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.